My husband makes $140,000 a year, but we are severely in debt. I had no idea where that money was going until today. Uh-oh. My husband makes $140,000 a year. I was making $30,000 a year. We had no credit card debt when I quit my job. Our mortgage and home equity loan combined are $2,000 a month. My car payments combined are $500 a month. Okay. And I know Reddit thinks women asexually produce children and then force men to support them. But my husband enthusiastically wanted children as well and had an equal role in creating them. I didn't know it was a thing. My salary would not have justified the cost of daycare. So we both did the numbers a hundred different ways and it should still be working. I don't know what the F he's spending money on or even the extent of the issue, but I know I didn't frivolously spend money like an effing idiot. I bust my ass to keep our expenses low. The plan was that I would finish school and start working again by the time my middle was in kindergarten. So we would have only one child in daycare. Okay. It was a good plan. It would have worked. But then I found out something. What did OP find out, Samuel? Well, we are $50,000 in credit card debt. In credit card debt? I did not know about this. Oh, my God. We are also $50,000 in debt on a home equity loan. Oh, come on. I did know about that. We're two months behind on our mortgage oh. and severely behind on our car payment. Oh. I quit my job when we decided to have the middle child three years ago. Then we had our youngest a year ago, and I thought we were fine. I don't know how this happened. God. I love him so much. By all accounts, our marriage is an ideal marriage. Is it? I thought we did everything right, but I don't know. I have no idea how we will ever come back from this. It'll take years to pay this off. I am in school full time, but we'll need to drop out because we can obviously no longer afford childcare while I'm in class. Dang. That just sets us back even more because my earning potential is lower. The most f up part is that my dad did the same exact thing to my mom. It was awful to live through as a teenager. It was a serious contributor to me being resistant to commitment or even relying on anyone for anything. My husband obviously knew about this. It was my number one reservation when I was quitting my job. I can't believe I was so stupid. This is my worst fear coming true and I have no idea what to do. And to be clear, we're not living large here. I cook everything from scratch. We don't get takeout. I use cloth diapers. I buy kids clothes secondhand or get hand-me-downs. Our cars aren't new. Our mortgage is very reasonable. We cut all of the extra out when I stopped working because my job would hardly have paid for daycare. There is no reason his income should not be enough. I don't know what he spent money on, but it clearly wasn't our bills. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, we got an update. Oh, I sense the direction this is going in. Yeah, what do you think this update is? Um, I think he got some side boot day. I just realized how bad this is. Oh no. I spent the day going through everything and talking to my husband. And he's cheating on me. Oh. The woman has two kids, and I guess he's been helping her with them. Two kids that they have together. Oh no. His... They could be his for all I know. Okay but she's not sure. Wow. He's currently vomiting and crying in the bathroom. So that's effing great. <laughs> I unfortunately have to stay married to him long enough to figure out the finances. And I'm talking to a bankruptcy lawyer on Monday. Thank you to everyone who made me feel a little less alone today. Damn OP, I feel for you. My God. Also, like when she said, she said in the story, we have an ideal marriage. I was like, that seems Yo, to me I like, don't know. it's nuts. rocky ground. Rocky wow. ground. That is so also, tragic. Also, like, how do you not notice? Like, I, like, how did she find out just then and not notice before? I mean, I've heard one thing I've been doing in the past few months is like, I used to be like the most insane like budgeter. I would like get envelopes from the bank for like my groceries and stuff. And then I've like stopped doing that. And it's like nice to not be like constantly thinking yeah. about it. Maybe that's what she was doing. Like, okay, let me like, we, ha we have the plan. We've done, they crunched the math, the, the, the daycare, the mortgage, the car payments. Like, like she said in the beginning, the math all worked out assuming that's what they were spending on right. but he probably was able to maybe go under her nose because she wasn't but like what is he not like putting money in the bank account like the joint bank account every day or every week or something or every two weeks i think the thing that's crazy is that it went this this far yeah i could i could see i could see her like catching it maybe like two or three months in and being like wait a second yeah. like some things but like this sounds like years uh, I'm, I'm honestly not sure it's fifty thousand dollars in credit card debt actually that much if you're making 140k 50,000 in credit card debt is very bad because the the uh, what does 50,000 in credit card debt mean it means so you have to pay they're probably paying 18 to 30 percent interest on it um, oh so every single month they get charged uh one twelfth of whatever their interest rate is oh so, that's that's fucked right? yeah let's see 50 times so they're paying 10 grand a year in interest alone 
Yikes. In interest alone, and that's that's like wait, almost no, no, a thousand. It, it would be more than ten grand a year, right? If it's so, let's wait, see, if it's fi- fifty if it's times twenty percent, times twenty percent times 10K. twelve. No, so is it's, it not fifteen percent a month? No, 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 no. So it's like twenty percent annually. So uh, you divide that by the month. But I mean, I mean, still, they they could literally pay eight hundred thirty dollars a month on their credit card and literally not pay off a cent. If they pay down their their credit card bill like like ten uh, k for the whole year, they would still be fifty k in debt. Sheesh, bad. But all right, but like even even if that's true, like like if you're making one hundred forty k, like I feel like that should be like not terrible to pay off. Uh, like probably. Forty k is like I forget her. Amount, right? uh, it was good that she put the numbers in the beginning, but like, how much is there more? How much is there like? So it's two thousand. So yeah, actually, let's let's, let's do this. So two thousand dollars a month for the home loan. Yep. Uh, five hundred a month for car payments, child care for three kids, another three grand a month. Yeah, for extraneous. So I mean, six point six point five sixty five hundred a month. Yeah, in expenses probably. You're making uh eleven thousand six hundred before taxes. Yeah. Let's say let's say he's making around like nine or ten grand. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, that's he's still making. 10 grand which which probably, probably have like a grand left over well the crazy part is how did he get so in debt he must have been spending a lot on that family yeah that's the only way i or wonder if he got a credit card in his in his name without without her having a the account access mm, probably, so it's like they that's get, how she found out get it. maybe that was like under their joint or his name or right. whatever and then it's like he just never told her about it and she would never know spooky dude spooky dang if you like that story check out this one I arrested my fiance for cheating. Uh-huh.